Many people are spending time today to prepare for the weather that's on its way. The city of Lincoln, of course, included. Lincoln Transportation and Utilities are just a couple hours away from starting their 24 hours of services. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson was uh, there to talk about their plans today for the residential areas. Mackenzie? A couple of years ago, LTU would clear residential streets when there was four inches of snow or more. Now they make their decision on a case-by-case -case, case -case basis. Tim Byrne with LTU says there's a lot that goes into their winter storm preparation, and there's ways for you to help speed up the process. Right now we're planning to have our crews roll out at midnight. They will pre-treat all the arterial streets with anti-ice brine, and then we will be ready for the snowfall as soon as it shows up. Lincoln Transportation and Utilities tailors their strategy to each storm. When a storm has mixed precipitation, Byrne says it's a little more difficult to come up with a plan ahead of time, which is why they're asking everyone at home to do a few small things to make the process smoother. Keep an eye on the weather and plan your day around that. So when we're experiencing heavy periods of snowfall, try to think how that might affect your daily commute as our crews are out there trying to clear the streets so that you can get there safer. As far as around your house, if you have the ability to park your car off street, that's always a help to the crews as they're able to come through your neighborhood much more efficiently. Uh, make sure that you clear snow in front of your mailboxes and fire hydrants. That helps those folks do their jobs, um, provide you a better service as well. Burns says LTU focuses their efforts on streets that see the most traffic first. He says they're constantly communicating with weather experts to get the most accurate idea of what the weather will do. LTU considers many factors when they decide to clear residential streets, like the type of snowfall, how much accumulation is on the streets, and the forecasted temperatures for the days following a storm. That winter mix for us means it's going to be slushy, so if you're out there driving around, that's where you kind of might see some slicker conditions just due to that slush that'll be on the roadway under your tires, or when you're walking on sidewalks, be aware of that. Um, Good news with this event, temperatures aren't forecast to be very cold, so we're not anticipating a lot of significant icing. And local hardware stores say it seems like people are ready to do their part. Since there wasn't much snow in the last couple of years, Alan Kulhanek says people are coming in to get materials. We've seen a lot of people uh, preparing, uh, getting shovels, ice melt, uh, gloves, hats, anything that they may need for the, the cooler weather. And for those of you who are going to be at home tomorrow, be prepared to put salt on your driveway and be extra careful on your neighborhood streets. We'll be keeping you updated on the roads and weather tomorrow as the storm moves through. Mackenzie Johnson, a lot of good information there. Thank you very much.